Here's how the new freeway level transit stations work. Riders can access the stations between the operating hours of 5 a.m. and 11.30 p.m. by walking through the street level transit plaza gates on El Cajon Boulevard and University Avenue. Each station has two platforms with entrances on the opposite sides of the road. Riders who wish to board northbound buses should enter the station on the north side of El Cajon Boulevard or University Avenue. Riders who wish to access southbound buses should enter the station on the south side of El Cajon Boulevard or University Avenue. Once through the transit plaza gates, riders cross a pedestrian bridge above the freeway. Riders can take the stairs or elevator down to the boarding platform at freeway level. The boarding platforms have overhead canopies, benches, security cameras, and lighting, walls that protect users from the freeway and traffic noise, architectural treatments, and electronic signs that display when the next rapid bus will arrive. Bike channels on the stairs make it easier to bring bikes along transit trips, and additional bike lockers will be installed on the transit plazas. Blue emergency phones provide a direct feed to MTS security centers, which are monitored 24 hours a day, seven days a week. And MTS security personnel will always be on site during operating hours. Of course, in case of emergency, riders can also call 911. And remember, there is no pedestrian access between the northbound and southbound boarding platforms. If a rider is on the wrong side, they must go back up to street level, cross University Avenue or El Cajon Boulevard, and enter through the opposite transit plaza gates. Rapid riders can board or transfer to Rapid Route 235, which already travels along the I-15 corridor to access employment centers in downtown San Diego, or head north to Kearney Mesa, Mira Mesa, Rancho Bernardo, and Escondido. Through the Rapid Network, they can even connect to existing services to La Jolla and throughout Mid-City. The completion of the Mid-City Centerline project was a critical component in growing the Rapid Network and a significant step for the entire San Diego transportation system.